Hello and welcome back. Let's continue our discussion on the grid lines. In the previous video, we talked about how to unblock uh, a grid line from a group of grid lines created, say, a multiple grid lines, right? So multiple copy of the grid lines, right? So to specifically, uh, you know, unlock a particular grid line so that like when a change is made on a grid line does not affect the other. Say, for example, uh, I repeat, like the grid line A and B, or made of uh, multiple copies so which means that uh, the changes or when I just alter the you know the dimensioning or I mean the position it gets affected like they both gets you know affected right so um, let's uh, try to join them like uh, unblocking is pretty much like clicking on the you know the lock kind of uh, icon but making them in a group is the fairly a different procedure like for example uh, in this case um, i've just made it a b e together right so f is the alone so in order to make it in a single element so what you have to do is like you have to reposition based on the particular level say for example in this case now you can see i moved uh, f so that it it coincides with the other you know level indication marks right so now it is behaving a single fashion and you can see that right something like that same way uh, for example in this case i'll move this thing to the side i'll i'll change it to c so a b c and then this will become i'll make it uh, i'll leave it e right and then uh, I'll make this to be one. Then I'll make it to be two. Then three. And uh, that'll be four. And I'll make this as five. But I'll just, I can see the name is already exist. Okay, so it's the error from my end. Right, so this is uh, already there. So I'm gonna rename it to be four. But I'm gonna move it to the other side. Like I'll tell you why I've just made that. Then I'll just make it to be five. Right. So and then I'll just align that with the existing. Like in this case, I made uh, a two three a single thing. Right. Something like that. Right. So I can even make that to be same. Like in fact, this also. You know when i make changes that also gets added so no matter like only when you align uh, as per the uh, this kind of an indication so even the indication of this other side it will behaves perfectly the same same way like so once you make it you can probably uh, you know reposition them by clicking on this any one of that now you have a very beautiful grid lines, something like that. Right, so that's a very interesting thing. Then you select everything. Or say for example, I'm gonna select only A and B. These two things, like from the bottom to the top, right? And there's something called uh, activate dimensions. Like right? say so when I click on activate dimensions, you can see when you click on this, this, you can see the uh, temporary dimensions. This is called temporary dimensions, right? So the length is 560, the distance between A and B is 560, and this is something like that, right? So you can even see uh, the other elements also. Say, for example, when you activate dimension, will be that. Say, when I click here, and uh, there is an icon called room, ruler icon, you can click this. So make it temporary to a permanent. So you can see here, now I've just locked that and lock it. So this, I can move it a little bit here. So this dimension is here, like right? so this becomes now permanent, right. But you can even always uh, use this particular um, alignment dimension and you can select this and this and you can click this and move it and something like that. We'll talk about the other methods in which we can create the grid lines. We can create uh, not only a linear grid lines, but also non-linear or curved grid lines, right? So until then, bye-bye.